Alrighty, so we are back with more Five Nights at Freddy's VR. Um, it seemed to be pretty well. Like, you guys kind of want to see this, so we're gonna keep playing. I don't know what we're gonna play necessarily. We might do the um, team. Um, we might do some of the mechanic stuff and then some of the event stuff too. That's in here. Hopefully it is. Uh, power crook is fine. Event repair. Let's do event repair one. I haven't done it yet, so let's see how this one looks. Start. I think I know how this works. I think you're just a vent operator and you have to like look always to turn down someone down yet. As far as I'm mistaken. Welcome to Vent Repair. Fazbear Entertainment prides itself on having the most comfortable facilities. Each facility... <laughs> oh. around me that I can touch to do on that one so I guess we'll just do a normal night or something along those lines actually you know we'll do we'll do we'll do friends I want to complete parts and service welcome back to parts and service it looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully, grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. Freddy's got a pretty good hold of it. Give it another firm tug. Good job. Now place the hat in the lost and found bin on your right. While we're at it, let's make sure there isn't anything else stuck inside. To access Freddy's chest cavity, Grab Freddy's bow tie and pull it outwards. Well done. Freddy's oh, chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. What's the button? No, go full back. No, go full. Back. 
What did I do wrong? Oh, let me start. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks like one Freddy's got a pretty good good job. Now place the hat in the lost and while we're at it, let's make sure they're well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child's watch and place it in the lost and found bin. Be careful not to touch any of Freddy's sensitive wiring. I'm supposed to grab the watch and then throw it in the thing? Probably. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay. Do that. Come on. Welcome back to Parts and Service. It looks Freddy's got a good job. Now place the hat in the while we're at well done. Freddy's chest cavity is now open. Remove the child. Good job. It appears there is a child's shoe wedged behind Freddy's music box. Oh. The music box must be removed before you can access the child's shoe. Gently grasp the music box and extract it carefully. Place the music box on the work table to your left. Great job. To reset the safety latch, press the button located on Freddy's endoskeleton. Now, remove the child's shoe and place it in the lost and found bin. Well done. Return the music box to Freddy's chest cavity and we'll call it a day. Oh no, you seem to have mishandled Freddy's music box. This is not good. A replacement may be found on the work table. A slow and even pace is recommended. A, sl a slow and even pace is recommended. Wait until it goes down. Crisis averted. To close Freddy's chest cavity, press the large black button on the center of Freddy's face. That concludes your time in parts and service. Your pay will be docked accordingly. Thanks, man. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's do, um, what was the last one? Bonnie? Or do we do our Bonnie? Cheek, maybe? Don't be the stupid thing. You're the shit out of me last time. Yeah. There it is. There is a help one and two coming out in March, I believe, so we'll check that one out too. Don't worry about it. Um additionally Fears of Fathom, I think it was called that I played. Or Fears to Fathom, whatever it's called. Um I'm I'm interested in playing episode two, so let me know what you think of that one. Um Welcome back to Parts and Service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. See this that. series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. First, carefully pick up and place Foxy's head on his endoskeleton. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles to continue. Retrieve the fuse from drawer number one that matches Foxy's leg receptacle. To avoid bodily harm, wait for Foxy's legs to stop moving before know. inserting the control fuse. Oh, the red one. match it up run <laughs> welcome back to parts and service Fox oh no it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning 
It is recommended that you keep an oh. eye on Foxy at oh. all times. Oh. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed receptacles Move to again. continue. Retrieve the fuse from draw. What the fuck did I do wrong? Oh, maybe it's just receiver. Could be this receiver. Yeah, I probably screwed that part up. Yeah. Welcome back to parts and service. Oh no, it looks like Foxy's proprietary servo motors are malfunctioning. It is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. You will need to place new control fuses in the exposed res Good job. Foxy has regained control of his legs. A gentle reminder, it is recommended that you keep an eye on Foxy at all times. Oh no, it looks like a former employee attempted to repair Foxy's chest motor using an incorrect fuse. Carefully, remove the incorrect fuse from Foxy's chest and insert it into Foxy's upper arm receptacle. Upper arm receptacle? Well done. The remaining chest fuses are located in drawers number two and number four. Yep. Fix both fuses to continue. Just one more thing. So, it has a, a green dash in the middle and a blue and blue. And a blue, blue, green dash. Blue, blue, green dash. Blue, wait, blue, yeah, blue, blue, green dash. Am I looking at that one? Maybe four. Blue, yeah, blue, blue, green dash. And then in this center, green, blue, with a blue dash. Good job. Retrieve Foxy's eye from drawer number three. When Foxy's eye patch is fully open, place the eye back into his eye socket. You think our eye? It's like a. That's not it. Like this one? Yeah, it's this one. Oh, shit. I need him to open up the eye. Well done. This concludes all your parts and service tasks. Nice. Pirate Cove can now be reopened. I didn't look at any of the controls, by the way, so this can be fun. Oh, oh it's this one. Well, I can't move up there physically. I don't think I can. No, I'm dead. I'll probably do like one more and then probably call it. Let's do a full night. How about that? Let's do a full night. Let's return in the menu. Let's see if we can actually survive a night of five nights in Cove. Never really tried that. Well, I've tried it, but not like. Oh, we'll do FNAF one. Oh, no, we'll do FNAF. Actually, I'm going to do
14. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise. Okay. Well, I know how it goes. Play on that end. Recharge on that end. Okay. I want to get more than the one that's inside. And then you can look that way. Is that a... There's other games. M11, M12, M13, M14. No one's that way. Okay, you haven't moved. Video area. Okay. What do you mean error? This being like the easiest map ever. M2, M3, M4, M5. Wait, I'm sorry, what else? M5 and. M3, M2, M1. survived a night okay well that's probably gonna wrap it up um probably try to continue with the next few nights um afterwards so well you know how that one goes yeah, what do we got here? a bar finished um yeah but that's gonna be it um we got the series starting soon we'll probably start up i think the 18th we went to great lengths to create an so, authentic vr experience yeah, um, including using scanned uh, photographs